npm allows us to use variables in package.json scripts. This is done with the config key. So right here, we've set a variable called main and set the value to source index.js. We can then access this variable right here by using dollar sign, npm underscore package, config, and then the name of the variable, so main. So then we can use a script like npm start and it'll run our main file. So say we wanted another variable, say this time wit scepter, which is the name of my Chrome extension, link in the description. Say we set that to cool, we can access that with npm underscore package config wit scepter. What's cool about this too, is these parameters also get set as environment variables. So inside this index.js file, if we go in here, and paste in these environment variables, if we run this application, and actually this is an error because I changed this to wit scepter and not main. If we run this, see how our environment variables get printed out down here. So both of these right here were attached to this process.env. And then once again, npm underscore package underscore config and then main. And of course, a good use case for this is you can use these for loading environment variables for things like server locations. So say I have host, port, and main. Let me re rename this to server.js. And then I'm just gonna paste in some code right here. Now we get our host and port from our package.json file, the config section, and then we just set a server to listen on them. Now if we run npm start, our server is running on localhost port 3000 with the environment variables supplied from package.json. I personally don't usually use variables this way, but it's a handy trick to know. I'm sure it could help someone out. If you like content like this, check out my courses linked in the description. Also my Chrome extension called Witscepter. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you for liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.